it's just how to set up a Thomas Splint if there's an event that there isn't one already set up for you. You'll find everything in the plaster room. You need the long piece of the traction and the leg hoop. They all fit in to each other, the interlock. So all you need to do, and get it in, is just press on that and they'll sit in and lock. You obviously angle it to which leg you're doing so obviously this is a left leg or you'd bring it out push it in to do a right leg okay first we've got hoop covers this is just to protect the patient's skin and these are all velcro fastening just open them up They come in three sizes, small, medium and large, obviously depending on what size of hoop you've got. And it just sits round and you just Velcro it on. Such that together and put that back on so you know where it is and the slings as well usually about three to four depending on the patient's leg so these just velcro fasten at the back So depending on the patient's length of leg, these just sit on like that. But add to extra security, stop it wandering around, you can actually put some tape at the back or this Velcro strip that's also found in the plaster room and this just holds everything together. Okay, that'll just stop everything from moving when you're putting it, when you're applying it. Then your tongue depressors, usually two or three, and you just need to tape with elastoplast at the very ends, and this will just hold them together and it'll just allow you to get some traction on it. By putting it just on the ends, you're just hanging it, you're just anchoring them all together. You really need that to be able to slip between the ropes. Okay. Also, what you'll need is a 15 centimetre bandage to anchor everything onto the Thomas splint. You one of those. And also a traction kit, which are found in the plaster room. They come in adults and children's. This is all in the pack. All this bandage is really doing anchoring 
this skin traction down. It does actually come with a metal clip, but I have to say, I don't particularly like using them because it can show up on x-ray. So. Go in, over. And it's not broken, it's not really that short. So it's really difficult to get that much traction on. You can feel it pulling, okay. Because there's no break, it ain't very, it's very difficult to, I'll have to undo it, I can't twist it anymore, mm -hmm. I'll take a rip out and twist it, okay. carry on twisting it. Have you got an idea? Yeah. 